Hey guys, it's Jasmine here, and today I am looking at a new game. It's called Diluvian. It's a really interesting game. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's uh, made by Arachnid Games, and it is a submarine game. And I don't really know too much about it because I only just kind of tested out the game for like the first five minutes. There's something about uh, gods. There's something about uh, submarines. I know that there's some uh, combat action I haven't seen yet. But I, I just wanted to bring this to you because this is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm really excited about the mechanics. I'm excited about the gameplay and all this good stuff. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start a new game. We're going to take a quick look at this and uh, let me know what you think. We're called Swashbuckler in this, but you know what? As I said, I have kind of took a sneak peek. Instead of being Swashbuckler, I'm going to go as Kevin Costner. Only because uh, this game is Waterworld. And I don't know how to spell Kevin Costner's na last name. I could probably easily look this up. I, I think I got it right. So we're just going to go in it. Oh, look how gorgeous this is. It's so pretty. So pretty. Hello, my child. Come and sit with me. That's what it says. I'd like to tell you a story one that I used to read to your mother oh so long ago when she was about your age. Oh man, this is just gorgeous. Oh, look at those waves. Once, long ago, before the waters of the world closed up around humanity, the earth was covered in dry land as vast as the ocean is deep. Now you can guys kind of see why I named my guy Kevin Costner because we got a water world situation here. Except instead of like being on top of the water, we're diving deep under the water. And again, look at this beautiful artwork. This is just absolutely gorgeous. No child went without food. The people were happy and the world contained wonders and technology that we see only glimpses in relics left behind in ruins. I think I read that quickly enough. However, there was a darkness within the hearts of man. It's so pretty. So pretty. Look at that. Gorgeous. There was a group who, being not content with the miracles they possess, sought to dominate others, and soon war broke out across the world. Very interesting already. As punishment for their sins, the gods sent down the calamity which wiped out the land's dwelling enemies, animals and sunk the earth deep beneath the waves. Oh, this is so insanely pretty. Look at those guys. Yep. Sunk beneath the waves. Drowning. Drowning. Because they don't have no paper. No, I'm joking. That's a, <laughs> if you've never seen Kevin Costner in Waterworld, I'd highly like, recommend you go look it up. But all was not lost. See? Here we go. So this is the main storyline here. The last god who believed that mankind should be given a second chance hid a gift in the deepest, darkest part of the ocean. And she said to mankind, whoever reaches the end of this endless corridor and brings back my gift, if he or she is to be deserving, will usher in a new golden age for mankind. And this is why adventurers seek out the endless corridor. Through, though they do not know what it holds, but whatever it is, whatever, whether it be treasure or knowledge or power down there, the life we know will be irrevocably changed when it is discovered. So cool. So awesome. All right, so here we get to go and select a ship. Uh, there's three different types of ships, and uh, we can briefly go through these ones. The first one's a Glacium Mark VI Diamond, and this is apparently the quickest ship, but it's not uh, built for combat. And I know that there is some combat in here. I haven't seen it yet. Uh, on the opposite end, we have the Mariana, which is a very slow ship, but it is heavily uh, defended. It's got turrets, it's got defense, and all this other stuff. And then we have the Iron Minnow, which is just a above average, you know, run-of-the-mill, like, jack-of-all-trade ship. I think that's the best thing to start with at the moment, because we really don't know what we're looking for. And, um, and we really don't know what to expect. So I'm just going to go with the Iron Minnow and just leave it at that. All right. How gorgeous is this? So pretty. So pretty. All right, so here we are. We got our... Uh, 
our nice little submarine. We can take a, like, a, a little peek around it. Isn't she pretty? Look at that. Oh, and then we're underneath the endless ocean. So gorgeous. Okay, so we have a uh, basic controls and turning in this thing is kind of slow. Uh, we can go forward. We can go back. But I think right now we're just going to go forward. We're going to go at half. And then I can uh, change the rudder back and forth so we can turn ourselves, which is pretty awesome. All right, while moving your ship, yep, use the A and D to move, to turn. And look at that. Look how responsive this is. It's so pretty. Let's go at full. Because, yeah, we don't have to worry too much. Oh, yeah, we actually had to worry about that. Okay, there we go. I was going to say, we don't have to worry, but I'm pretty bad at driving already. Yeah, these are just... Uh, plants that we can easily just push around. All right, now with Q and E, we can adjust our depth. So I think if I hit Q, we go down. Um, let's slow, slow down a bit. We're going pretty fast. All right, so with Q, we can start going down so we don't hit this top part. And uh, we're gonna slow down a bit. Oh, one of your crew members wants to talk to you. Press V to view the inside your ship. All right, this is very interesting. We have like a whole crew that we can control within our ship, and I think we can actually tell them what to do. So what should we do, Jay? We've been out looking for, for salvage all day and haven't had any luck. Let's stop at the bar and regroup with some hard grog. Hard grog it is. All right, so yeah, we can kind of like peek around our ship. Look at this. So we have our helm, which has Jay Treadwater, it's the only crewman we have at the moment. So I'm not exactly sure what this does, we could uh, overdrive and engine power. So if I hit this, nothing. I can add another crewman, and I think that will uh, increase our stats. But we don't have another crewman at the moment. We also have like a bunch of other um, little panels in here. And we also have, let's see, let's see. Here's our inventory. We have money, air tank, fleck, simple to use low damage bolt cannon, cannon. scrap metal, and what's this one? Food. All right, so we got food and stuff like that. We also have, it looks like a uh, barracks and then something up here that has to do, maybe that's the periscope? I don't know. But anyways, we're, what we're gonna do is we're now going to dock and find another crew member. All right, aye aye, adjusting our engine output. All right, so. God, this is absolutely gorgeous. Look at these little goldy fish. So pretty. All right, navigation part one. The golden fish are said to flock to those striving for a goal. Use them to navigate to your destination. Can do, Captain. All right. Oh, this is so pretty. Look at this. And that looks like what? Bones? Like an old, maybe like a mammoth, like a gigantic mammoth that used to be here. All right, let's slow down. So we're now getting too close to our goal. I think we want to go here. Yeah, we want to go here. And we can use R to dock once we get close enough, I think. I think it'll actually say you can use it. All right. Yep, here we go. Woo, rope tension. Game save, we are now docked at the dive bar. Very cool. All right, here we are. So this is our friend Treadwater, right? What's the plan? I've been thinking it's time to expand the crew. Don't get me wrong. What do I have to do to get a decent drink in this dump? Pay your tab, you scoundrel. Yeah, yeah, I know I'm good for it. Your scrap can's falling apart, boy. There's wreck on the seafloor that's more reliable than your ship. Do you not look out your portholes, man? I've got a brand new sub courtesy of Hassley. Who's Hassley? I don't know who Hassley is. But we're still talking to this dude, right? Treadwater. Guess not. Um... So if we hit M, we can actually go in here about Hasley. Find out more about Hasley. Okay, so this is our quest map. So we can talk to here. Who's Hasley? He's a loon with too much time on his hands. I don't see the difference on that sub besides the name. Man, what would you know? You can't even read. Hasley's a genius. No, a legendary mechanic. And the sub that he made is going to get me all the way down to 1,000 meters, no sweat. He'll get you 1,000 meters all right, but not alive. Ah, I see the bartender chastling him. All right. So what do we have to drink? We have seaweed gin and the last of the grog, which will it be? Definitely neither. All right, so 
There's a lot of people here we could talk to. Thirsty patron, what's going on? The grog here is so bad, I may as well be drinking my own piss. Gross. Come to think of it, I did drink my own piss. Want an engine in the deal. Even gross. Lapsed adventurer, why'd you come here? The owner here brews his own grog. We don't ask what goes in it. Okay. All right, before I talk to you, which is obvious I have to talk to you, I'm just gonna look around. Board retiree. There's someone in here every other week saying the same thing. Treasure this, treasure that. In my day, we had dreams beat out of us and we were glad for what we were given. Oh, jeez. Oh, you guys don't talk, okay. Oh, what's this? <gasps> Ooh, books. Got books, can be sold at the premium. We got diner, dinar, co coins redeemed for value of gold and scrap metal. Can I take it? Oh, yes, I can. Cool. All right, I guess we'll talk to Hass... Uh -huh. Daniel Irritan? Okay. Can you tell me more about Hasley? John Hasley is part of the Vehicle Engineering Guild. If you can get him to help you, he'll get you down to a thousand meters. Give or take a catfish whiskers. Before I forget, you can find Hasley near Tonesburg. Or Tonesburg? I don't know how to pronounce that. Just remember you owe me one. Oh, and the name's Daniel Irritan. Nice to meet you. A thousand meters. If you're looking to get a new sub anyway, we'll be able to dive that far. Would be an added bonus. Don't forget, we can only go down 200 meters at the moment. Okay, so we have to upgrade our ship in order to go further down. So cool. And we're gonna need a crew. Why don't we see if anyone's here looking for a job? All right, so we need to hire a sailor. So yeah, here's our uh, M is our map and our uh, quest log. So let's see, let's hire somebody. Okay. So we found out more about Hasley. Now we just need to hire a sailor. Um. Do I want him? No. Why did you come here? Uh, maybe, can I hire? Can I hire you? Do I have to hire you? Why you might get down to a thousand meters? I'm going to be the first captain to reach the bottom of the ocean and grab whatever lies down there. I'll be remembered throughout history, and everyone will know my name, just like the great Jason Fleet. Well, it's my name they're going to be talking about, not yours. Oh. Is that supposed to be me? Jack? Will you join my crew? Let's see. Or how about her? Wait. Do I only get to choose one person? I guess I can only choose one person. So let's, uh, let's grab Jack. Look at him. <laughs> Will you join my crew? Seems like the best is of uh, Seems like the best of it is over. Sure, I'll hop on your junker so long as you kept me feed. All right, so. We have to hire him. He has one endurance, one intelligence, perception, and strength. That's okay, I guess. It's, you know, we're not looking for the best right now. So we hired a sailor. Um, new sailor. You've just hired a sailor. Sailors will repair your ship over time and can mend any of the active stations on your ship. Cool. So let's uh, look at our ship again. Let's go back in here, right? Where do I go? We could take this passage west all the way to Tonsford. Tons Tonisfjord? I think that's how you pronounce it. Alright, so there's our sailor. Uh well, what do you think? The ship is well it's a ship for sure. Yeah, of course. And where are you from? Born and raised up in Fingerdal. The place just ain't the same anymore. All the refugees coming in. Okay. So I guess I can move him. If I want to, I just don't know how. Can I click on you again? Oh. I could get I can remove him completely. I guess maybe um mm -hmm. let's see. Oh, okay, so I can add the crew him. Okay. I could just do that. So right now I can only put someone on the helm. So we'll add Jack. Wait. There you go. Add Jack. Cool. Oh, how gorgeous. Alright, so we can only go down 200 feet. And I think right now we're at negative, or at 50. So we're, we're fine there. Let's start heading downwards, maybe. Maybe there's some scrap at the bottom of this. I don't know, but I love how this looks. Dear God, this is beautiful. Put that sailor to use. We did, didn't we? What should we do with the new guy? Leave him in the crew quarters and he'll repair any damage. Okay. But personally, I'd like him in my helm. Well, he's already in your helm. 
Spherical chambers of your ship are stationed. Each one controls a certain aspect of the ship. Click on the hem and add a sailor. Yep, and I already did. He's right there. Perfect. So now we actually have an overdrive and engine power. So we actually have a little bit more strength and endurance added to our uh, ship. Ooh. Oh, hit the wall. Hit the wall. Hit the wall. Okay. Uh oh, restoring air. Supply air. Air supply is getting low. Dock with tower towns and outposts to refill the tanks. Okay, where's a town? Okay, we have to find a town. Is it up above us? Oh, I see. Down here. Follow the fishies. I think. Oh no, this is just really pretty coral. All right, so we're, we're gonna we're gonna find something. We're gonna find this. You have to find a town, though. Oh God, this is so scary. I'm, I'm like worried I'm gonna run into something. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Where where be the town? I feel like I'm going the right way. I think. All right, we still have a lot of air in our oxygen tank, so I think we're fine. Oh, down, 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 down. Q is down, Q is down. Oh my gosh. Those mines look like they're trouble. Yeah, I, I agree. All right, what were you saying? What should we do with the new guy? Uh, what do we do about the mines? Hope you didn't have too much to drink, Captain. We're going to have to maneuver around them. We really could use a new gunner. Yeah, we could. I agree. I, I agree we could. All right, let's let's take it slow. We also want to start heading a bit faster, though. Especially since our tank is, um... It's not super, um, low. Oh, God. Oh, shiz. Shiz. Maybe I should put the other guy... Oh, there, there's the town. All right, I was thinking about putting the new guy in the um, gunner seat, but... A bounty hunter's jail? What? What about it? Captain, if we want to fill out our crew, we're going to have to get creative. Maybe we can hire some crew on the cheap here. Okay. Well, yeah, that's what I was thinking of. We also just need to get some air, too. So let's, uh, let's head over here to this town. Duck. Woo! We're gonna duck. Yes! Air tank is filled! Whoa. Oh, wow. They weren't kidding. This is a jail. We can hire people, can't we? Who are you? I'm looking to trade. Sure thing, take a look. Alright, so we can hire- we can- Oh, that's a lot of money. 4,480 oh wow, that's a lot of money for um, another air tank. We definitely need it though. Uh, we could sell our books, but I feel like books is a really good oh. thing to have. Uh, loud bounty hunter. What do you like about bounty hunting? I love it when they run! Nothing like a good chase to make the man's morning. Okay. Uh -huh. You're just some lady, just sitting there. Okay. Alright, who's this dude? Oh, just a lady again. Okay, um... Nothing here to steal? Hmm? Alright, so let's talk to maybe some of these guys. No, you don't have anything to say? What about you? Oh, that's Jay. That's our guy. Jay. Okay. Do you have anything to say? No? Alright, well there's a couple people here. Anna... Jow, want to join up? Uh. Kate Smith, what are you in for? Oh, she's a gunner. Hey there! Been just a teensy mix-up, and what do you know? They shoved me in this cage! Could you help me out here? <laughs> I'll talk it to the prisoner. Look, you gotta help me. They got me in here on false charges, and now they want to execute me. Damn woman is trouble. What? Oh, you did not just say that. I'm actually gonna, absolutely going to show you what I'm made of. When you hire me as your gunner. <laughs> I'll be blowing stuff up since I was three years old. No talking. Oh, look, what do you know? I picked the lock wire and distracted the guard. Thanks for the cover, Captain. Hey, she's escaping! What are you waiting for? Run! Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's... Doesn't cost me anything. Let's, let's hire her. Can I talk to him? Oh, God. 
Okay, uh, we gotta put our gunner in this thing, right? Here she is, okay. So what's your deal? I'm a gunner, of course, and your ship has guns! We're a perfect match! Alright, uh, let's get the crewman out of here. Let's remove him so he can repair the ship while we run away. Alright, let's run. We're just gonna run, because... Oh, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, now I can actually shoot stuff, and no one's after me. There must be a gate. We must be close. Okay, there's the gate. Alright, let's, uh... <gasps> Ooh, let's head up before it closes on us. Oh no! Shit. It crashed. Can we shoot it? Damn ice quakes. Uh, what do we do now? That was the only passage to Tona's Fjord. Uh, unless if we dive down, we might be able to get through the damage part of the gate. Hopefully, awfully close to their crush depth, though. Keep an eye on the depth meter. Okay. So we're going to go down. We're going to keep our um, other dude. We're going to keep the other dude in. Oops, wrong one. In the, in the barracks so that he can repair our ship as we go down. All right, so... All right, so we're going down to the crush gate, or uh, our crush depth. Gotta be very careful, because 200 is our limit. Let's go down slow. So stop. All right. All right, we're getting down there. We're getting close. All right, let's start moving down. All right, so we just have to be very careful now. All right, here's another ice iceberg. Okay, whew. Super close to our limit. What is that? Oh, it's something we could dock to. All right, let's let's get there quickly. Slow down and dock. Okay. Whew. Man. Intense. What's in here? Oh. Oh, we could take something. Fish fossils. Scrap metal and dinar. Right, let's take that. Um, is there anything else in here we could take? Oh, treasure. Oh, more dinar. Awesome. Is there anything else here? Nope, okay. Let's boogie. Oh, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. We want to go down, we want to go down. Q is down. All right, woof, man. All right, crush depth. All right, we're, we're down at the depth. You have to be very careful. We're at, we can only withstand 200. Okay. You know, this This reminds me of a... Is it the hunt for Red October? Sort of, you know, with a... Alex... Uh, Alex... Tri Baldwin? The Baldwin and the, uh... And Sean Connery? Oh, slow down. Stop. All right, gotta go down even further. Okay, we're really close to our depth. We gotta be very careful now. Okay. All right, 200's it. Okay, well, maybe if we uh, just do it quickly. Just ram through, and then we can get back up. Okay. Oh. All right, so we we got to our crush depth. We don't want to be doing that too much. But yeah, it, this definitely reminds me of, like, the hunt for Red October. Just the whole uh, submarine diving through icebergs, being really quiet, and playing, like, the, the chess cat and mouse game that is uh, that. Oh, who's this dude? Sonar Officer Gregory Hudson. You need to leave now. Are you sure it's okay for me to catch a lift? Yes. Yes. You are now my sonar guy. Um, is there anything here that we could take before we leave? Um, no. Okay. So it's just him. Let's, um, let's look at our thing. Uh, now we have a sonar guy. Yes, here it is. Uh, how are you finding the new recruits? The boy never says anything except to apologize. The girl never shuts up. And the rest of the crew don't mo more than mumble. If we make it to the endless corridor, it'll be a miracle. All right. So what do we do now? There's only that was the only passage. Okay, so we already did that one. 
So uh, we're I think we're fine now. Let's let's put this dude um, in the helm. Stop. Helm. Add crew. We're gonna add Jack. Cool. Is there anything in here? Can we talk to him? Gregory Hudson? No. All right. So if I guess if we had another crew, uh, sonar crew, we could do some more in here. And uh, we can also have uh, better accuracy and fire rate if we add another crew to. Okay. So there's lots of cool things in here that I'm, I'm really enjoying. All right, so let's uh, go on half. Let's keep moving. Got to be very careful about um, going too far below their crush depth. Because we're, we're, we're getting to that point where it, it's getting a little dangerous. Is this the corridor? Look at all these beautiful seaweed. Icefall. Dive lower and find a way past the gate. Oh, wow. All right, so we're past the gate. Keeper beacon. That's what that means. All right, feeding your crew. Make sure you're keeping an eye on food available in your sub. If you run out of food, your sailors will leave their stations, leaving the sub without bonuses. Okay, so we got lots of food. Let's go down here.